This video is going to show you how to put page numbers in your report. This is the one that always goes wrong, so keep your fingers crossed. Right, my report at the moment, it's got a front cover, it's got a contents, two pages of report, index, bibliography and appendix. Your report is going to look a lot nicer than this and it's going to be a lot longer than this at this stage. But I just wanted to set the scene. Right. What I want is for my page numbers to start at the main body of my text. I don't want page numbers on my front cover or my contents page. So, get onto the first page of my report and then I need to insert the page numbers. So, from the insert tab, choose page number. I can choose top, bottom or page, doesn't matter. I'll put them at the bottom of the page. Again, you've got some choices to make. I'll choose that one. Right, now that's page number three. That's because it's assumed that the cover is page one, and the contents is page two. I don't want that to be the case. I want this to be page one. For that to happen, I need to unlink it from the previous pages. Now, that should come out highlighted. If it doesn't, then you haven't set the report up properly. When you first set this report up, you were asked to put section breaks in some places and page breaks in other places. If you haven't put the proper break in the proper place, none of this will work. So the only thing you can do is to go back, compare what you've done to what the Unit 1 guide said you were supposed to do and try and put it right. Okay, if you have got that highlighted, that's a good sign and basically you unchoose it. So I've now unlinked this page to the previous pages. Then what I need to do is I need to format that so it starts at page one. So I can choose page number again, change format page number and get that to start at page one. Okay, I've got the correct page numbers on my report, there's page one, there's page two, but I've still got page numbers on my cover and my contents. I want to get rid of them. I can do this without affecting the main body because I've unlinked them. So all I've done there is deleted that. It will have deleted from that page and the cover page. Now I want to do the same sort of thing at the tail end of my report. So there's the two page numbers I do want. I don't want page numbers on my index, my appendix and my bibliography. So find the page number on the index, double click it. Again that should be highlighted. If it isn't you've got the wrong type of break into your report. So you're going to have to do what I said before and go back and check it. If it is highlighted, you can unlink it. I can now get rid of that page number and that will get rid of it on the index page, bibliography, the appendix. Let's close the header and footer and then we can see more clearly. Right, so from the top, no page number on the cover, no page number on the contents. That's page one, that's page two, no page numbers anywhere else. Two things I've got to do to tidy it up. Those page numbers are wrong. So I need to right click, update field, and then I'll show the right page numbers. Um, both of those appear on page one and two because all I did was copy and paste when I created my second page. But it's corrected those words and given them the right page numbers. I've got to do the same thing on my contents page. So come back up here, right click on there and choose to edit the field. Except I didn't want to do that. I wanted to update the field. Sorry about that. So it's update field, choose that. 
I tend to choose that one, I probably don't need to, I can probably do just the page number one. Page numbers are now correct. So just check through your report, got all the right page numbers all the way through it. Make sure they are correct because you get penalised for your report not being professional if any of them are wrong.